Yo, ladies and gentlemen, I am MC Simon, and welcome back to Space Engineers. Uh, this is my new review series, kind of daily reviews, I guess. I'm, uh, I guess that I'm gonna be doing. Um, and yeah, this is uh, gonna be pretty awesome. As you can see here, we're at a new track, and you know, I thought, what better way to start off the new series than with one of my favorite ships of all time the one and only quantum legera by ass hunter this is it here and as you can see this thing looks just so sharp dude uh it looks kind of like a, a space lamborghini i can't remember who i heard say that first but um yeah it's got the whole space lamborghini sort of vibe going on it's got uh sort of a rear diffuser here big rear diffuser sort of a wing also a whole lot of just angular styling headlights too and taillights i believe well no taillights on this particular one but uh yeah it's uh it's quite the ship it's very very fast like i said in my previous uh video the typhoon osiris gt mcz stuff uh, which the Typhoon Osiris GT and the original Osiris, in fact, are uh, sort of inspired by this kind of my own take on the same concept of a two-seater space supercar. I guess in the Typhoon's case, it would be a hypercar since it's just, well, as far as performance goes, it's leagues above this. But um, styling, I think they're pretty much on par. And you know, you gotta love the OG. This is pretty much, as far as I know, the first real space super hyper car. And it's just glorious. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, so I have a cutaway model of it over here, just to take a look at how this was all arranged. And this is so ingeniously done. I'm like, I'm just wowed by it. It's, well, it doesn't have as much fuel space because these are all small ca small cargo containers back here. And, um, so yeah, I, it's just a whole bunch of small cargo containers so you're not going to be running as long as you are with the Typhoon Osiris because it has two medium cargo containers. Uh, but the batteries are actually under the cockpits, which surprised me because... I was like, uh, well, I, I didn't know uh, that it had batteries. I don't think, because I didn't actually read the description uh, prior to this review, which I should have done. But yeah, it has batteries. It has two of them to make up for the lack of fuel storage back here, traditional uranium storage. And I accidentally deleted some stuff here, but we'll just go ahead and ignore that. So yeah, it has a whole bunch, a whole bunch of uh, azimuth uh, small uh, reactors here, azimuth small ion reactors, and it's got two, although I deleted one over here, but as you saw over there on that one, it's got two azimuth um, big thrusters, so plenty, plenty of firepower with this thing. Yeah, it's just masterfully masterfully laid out so compact you know incredibly incredibly compact that's the big thing that really helps the maneuverability uh, I think it's just that it's so short you know it's just this is very very maneuverable and yeah it's just I think that's really all there is to say about the Quantum Legera. So, this is the new track. Well, new is actually um, Admiral Nemo's first track. So, it's a kind of cool. It's almost like a space city circuit with all these sort of 90 degree bends. And it's got these here where you have to actually keep the bottom of the ship oriented towards those U shaped things there. It's uh, kind of cool. It's not as good as the um, 
skeleton run. Definitely not as fun, but you know, I, I just decided why don't we go ahead and change things up? So I'm just gotta find the start line here. There we go. And uh, this is the way you go. You start off here. I'm gonna give you a quick tour before my hot lap. Start off here, hard breaking into this first turn. And then straight through here. Again, plenty of hard breaking, especially in the Quantum Legera, because it doesn't have Riders Modular Thrusters. As you can see, we got a lot of slip there. Like the, the ship continued to drift for quite a while after we uh, turned in, so you really have to, you can't trail break at all. So then we come out into this sort of zone here, keep the bottom of the ship orientated towards, uh, orientated like this, keep the, basically, not like, not like this, not upside down. Because, well there's a reason for that, when you come back around to the start finish line, which is right there, uh, you're going to be upside down, it's going to be super confusing, so best not to do that, Al although you can, you know, it's just, it's just best not to, uh, but anyway, so through another one of these zones, very high speed, but not wide open in the Legera, in the Typhoon Osiris, it is wide open, so that's a lap, pretty simple, pretty basic, um, but yeah, I don't know how many meters that is, otherwise I would have told you. But it is a few uh, uh, kilometers, rather. So, anyway, yeah, same uh, same cockpit as the Osiris GT, very luxurious. Got a couple, they're very light also. But, anyway, so let's go for the hot lap. Hopefully I can keep this clean. But no guarantees, because it is a technical track, and this ship, while it does handle well, it's not exactly the best handling ship ever. So, anyway, the racetrack, the Quantum Legera on uh, Admiral Nemo's first racetrack in three, two, one, go! So, up over 70, almost 100 meters a second into the first turn. As you can see, just the uh, inertia dampers can't quite cancel out the momentum if you're not careful enough. And more evidence of that there and there as well. So you just gotta be very careful with your inertia dampers. Get all your braking done before you turn in. Yeah, this isn't a clean lap at all. It's not very representative of the Legere's actual pace. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart. Ow. Alright, Quantum Legera at the racetrack. Second attempt in three, two, one, go! So, once again, coming into, the into this first turn, just gotta get stopped, keep it to the inside as much as possible. And then, kinda, you have to kinda drift the Legera through the turns a little bit. Yeah, it's. it's much harder to control than the Osiris. I'm gonna stop comparing this to the Osiris now because really I you know they're two separate types of ship and this was made earlier I think even before riders modular thrusters were a thing so not exactly a fair uh, comparison I don't think. Yeah like I said those aren't quite wide open in the Legera but anyway, so we're already back to the finish. I feel like that was a pretty decent lap time. Uh, pretty representative of the Legere's overall abilities. Not the best handling ship as far as inertia dampeners, but it is a challenge and it, therefore it is actually very fun. So, if you like this video, then go ahead and bits up that like button. If you really, really liked it and you want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hey! I've been MC Zinman. You've been awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video. MCZ. <laughs>